Welcome to Tamara Research Writing Guides. I'm Trent, your AI-supported instructor. In this video, I will show you how to write an argumentative essay with simple interactive steps. So subscribe now and, and get ready for taking notes. You'll come across argumentative essays all the time when it comes to academic writing since they're the most popular type of essays. In simple terms, argumentative essays present a well-thought-out argument and provide evidence to back it up throughout the paper to persuade the reader. When crafting an argumentative essay, it's important to pick a side on your topic and support it throughout your paper. Like regular essays, argumentative essays consist of introduction, body paragraphs, and conclusion. But before those essential parts, I will first show you the argumentation techniques, which are Rogerian model and Talman argument. So, there are two popular ways of making an argument. First up is the Rogerian model. This type of argument helps you to present a balanced view of both sides of a controversial issue. When using the Rogerian approach, the goal is to find common ground and approach the topic in a respectful and fair manner, instead of just trying to win an argument through aggressive tactics. Now, let's have a look at an outline example in Rogerian model. Now, as you see on your left, there's an argumentative essay outline based on the Rogerian model. Right after the introduction, there are three body paragraphs that follow the model strictly. The first paragraph presents the correct sides of the opposing idea that is against your argument. And right after that, you present the problems with the opposing idea based on your research. Now in the second body paragraph, you present your claim and further explore how claim can help overcome these problems in the first paragraph. And finally, in the last body paragraph, you try to find a compromise with the opposing claim, and you even explore how opposing claim can benefit from your argument. So let me give you an example on this outline. For example, say you want to discuss that social media positively impacts communication, and you're using the Rogerian arguments. So in your essay, you first need to accept that students spend so much time on social media, which is generally the main opposing idea to benefits of social media. Then you argue that older generation believes social media harms personal communication. After that, you suggest that decent use of social media may actually lead to a practical and rapid communication. And finally, you suggest that proper social media usage may even lead to better communication for older people who were skeptical at the first place. So as you see, with the Rogerian model, you find the middle but still propose your own argument in a mild but not aggressive manner. Let's now have a look at the Talman arguments. Like Rogerian arguments, the Talman model is also based on a four-step approach. Similar to Rogerian, after the introduction, there are three body paragraphs that follow the model strictly. The first paragraph present your claim in detail. And in the second paragraph, you first show evidence, then describe the grounds of your evidence. And finally, in the last paragraph, you show the reader you have also considered the negative aspects of your claim. This time, say our topic is that social media negatively impacts communication and you're using the Talman arguments. So in your essay, you first argue that social media has negative impacts on socializing and traditional communication. Then you present credible evidence to support your argument. After that, keep presenting qualitative and quantitative research to support further. And finally, you show that you've evaluated objections who believe social media is useful, but still contraclaim to convince the reader that social media is still harmful. So as you see, with the Talman model, you gradually support your claim by considering the objections in generally in your last paragraph. Now that we've seen the common techniques of argumentative essays, let's get to writing our introduction paragraph. Now that you've understood the techniques, it's time to start writing the introduction. The introduction is where you set the stage for your essay, where you need to grab your reader's attention and give them an idea of what's to come. For argumentative essays, the introduction should make up about 10% of the total word count. Now, let's have a look at the argumentative essay introduction. To make sure your intro is solid, you'll want to include a few key elements, a hook, background, and a thesis statement. The hook is where you draw the reader's attention with a strong claim. In the background, you set the context of your argument. 
and in the thesis statement, you present the central argument of your essay. So this is how your argumentative essay's introduction look like. Now let's move into how to write the body paragraphs. Body paragraphs are like small essays, and they need to be structured in a gradual format. Each paragraph should have its topic sentence, evidence, interpretation, counter-argument, and a concluding sentence before moving to the next paragraph. As you see on the example, topic sentence tells what the paragraph be about. Then you state and cite your evidence. Right after, you need to interpret the evidence in the interpretation. In the counter-argument, you present a counter-evidence to argue against the original claim. And in the final sentence of the paragraph, you highlight your point made in this paragraph. So these are the essential components of a perfect argumentative essay body paragraph. Let's now move into the conclusion, which is the last paragraph of an argumentative essay. Conclusion is where you sum up your argumentative essay. The golden rule here is not to add any new information or quotation. However, don't forget to highlight the significance of your argument and rephrase your thesis statement. The perfect conclusion should also include a summary, importance, and a memorable concluding sentence. As you see on the example, summary is where you summarize your arguments in the body and remind the reader of your thesis statement. Then stress the importance of your argument by giving examples from the real life. In the closing statement, capture the importance of your argument and conclude your essay with a memorable sentence. So I've shown you the basic principles and techniques of argumentative essays. Now that you've seen the interactive examples of introduction, body, and conclusion paragraphs, it's time to start writing your own essay. That's all for today. If you want to improve your essay writing skills even more, make sure to subscribe to our channel and hit the notification bell so you never miss a video from us. I'm Trent from Tomorrow Research, and I'll see you in the next video.